Alright, so here's part 2.5 of the 2.5 part introduction to derivatives. So uh, this video just shows the animation that was mentioned at the last video uh, in part 2. So here's our function g of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5. And um, we're going to let h start at 3. So here's x equals 1. And then here's the point where x is 1 plus h. So we're going to let h start at 3. And uh, we're going to take a limit as h goes to 0 and see what happens geometrically. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we see here, as h goes to 0, this point 1 plus h is moving into x equals 1 here. And we're getting all these different secant lines, and here are their slopes up here. So remember, the slope of a secant line is the average rate of change uh, on the interval from x equals 1 to x equals this point here. So we have a bunch of different secant lines with all these different slopes, and h is getting closer and closer to 0. So what happens is, uh, eventually, h is going to hit 0, and then we have a secant line, secant line, now we have a tangent line. Okay, h is now equal to 0, so we have a tangent line, uh, and the slope of the tangent line is negative 3. So, um, remember that a tangent line is the limit of the secant lines, and uh, the slope of a secant line is the average rate of change of the function from x equals 1 to x equals this point, and then uh, we're taking a limit as h goes to 0. So here we have a tangent line now, and the slope of the tangent line is the instantaneous rate of change of the function uh, at this point here. So um, the instantaneous rate of change of g of x is negative 3 when x is equal to 1. So uh, this animation shows what happens if h comes into 0 from the right, all right, because we start with a positive value of h. But um, what are we doing? We're taking a limit as h goes to 0. So that's a two-sided limit, OK? So uh, h could come into 0 from the right or from the left. So um, let's watch this one more time here, and then we'll see what's happening. Uh, so this is just the right-hand limit. So we'll see what happens if h comes into 0 from the left. All right, so um, let's see that here. So here, uh, let's let h start at negative 2.5. So now h is negative, so 1 plus h is to the left of 1. Um, so we're going to start the animation, taking a limit as h goes to 0, slow it down a bit. Uh, the same thing is happening, right? Secant line, secant line, all these secant lines here. This point is moving into the point x equals 1. h is getting closer to 0. And then uh, now we finally have a tangent line. And the slope of this tangent line is negative 3. So pretty much the same thing is happening. It's just uh, h is coming into 0 from the other side. So we're just getting different secant lines with different slopes now. Um, so that's what's happening here geometrically. Uh, if we take a limit as h goes to 0. Um, we have all these different secant lines, and then finally we just have a tangent line. And here's the slope of the tangent line. Uh, so remember, uh, negative 3 is what we found when we did it algebraically in the last video. So these animations just show what's happening geometrically as we take that limit uh, as h goes to 0.